Welcome to the ProPresenter tutorials for New Life Church slide volunteers. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to create a new presentation inside ProPresenter, a pretty foundational part of making slides for Sunday mornings. Just a reminder, if you'd like to skip ahead to different parts of this video or look at topics we'll be covering, you can always check the video description box below. For now, let's get started on creating a new presentation inside ProPresenter. All right, well, let's open up ProPresenter and prepare to make a new slide presentation. Uh, when you open ProPresenter, your screen should look pretty similar to the screen on this tutorial. You can see we have a few default New Life backgrounds down here in the video image bin. Uh, we have our library to the right side of the screen, and the center window has space to show the slides we're going to be creating. You'll notice that you might have a watermark logo on the display screen in the left-hand side of the program right here. Uh, that's because the installation of ProPresenter you have is probably not unlocked. However, that's not an issue. Uh, the slides you'll create and export won't have the watermark on them when they're done. And when you import them to the computer at New Life, the watermark will be gone. So just to clarify that, um, if that concerned you. So let's start creating a new presentation. We're going to click the New button on the top menu bar here. And a dialog window opens asking what we'd like to name our presentation. Now, for naming most of the sermon slides, we're going to use the prefix SS, then the year, the month, the day, and the service time. So for this example, we'll create sermon slides. So we'll put SS uh, for the year 2013, uh, the month of November. So I'll put 11. And then let's make the day the 5th. So I'll put 05. And then the last part of the prefix is we need to choose the sermon time for when these slides are going to be used. So we'll just say we'll use the sermon time 1111 at the end. And it's really important to make sure you stick to this prefix when you're naming your slides and when you're exporting them. Um, it helps other slide volunteers find the file when they import it into ProPresenter on Sunday. You know, if for some reason you weren't there to run it and someone else had to find the file you created, they would know exactly what to search for in the library. So just make sure you use that prefix uh, SS for sermon slides and then the year, the month, the day, and the service time. And just another quick note, if the slides are going to be used for more than one service, for example, slides for the 11.11 can also be used for the 5.05 service, we would just use the first service time that the slides were going to be used for. So in this example, we're going to put 11.11, but these could also be 5.05 slides. 5.05 is later in the day, and it's often a repeat service of the 11.11. All right, so now that we've appropriately named the file, let's choose the template files we're going to use. So we can click the arrow here by template, and it's going to present us with a list of templates that ProPresenter has installed. And if you watch the first tutorial, you know we imported the templates from Dropbox that are specifically made for NLC slides. Uh, my computer here has that template labeled message. Yours might be something different, but if you hover your mouse over the name of the template, you'll see the individual templates pop out on the right. And we can confirm that this is the NLC slides template. We have verse, bullet points, sermon point, and blank slide. So once you've found those, you can choose the option for verse from those templates that pop out. And once you choose that, you'll see that the thumbnail in the new file window has now changed to show that when I make a new slide in this presentation, it's going to be using the NLC slides template. So that's what we want. We can uh, leave that alone. And lastly, I'm just going to make sure the size of my slides is 1024 by 768 and the rest of the options match the screen here. So you can pause a moment and take a look at this screen, make sure yours look similarly and then click new. So now that we've clicked the new button, our presentation gets created and it's time to start adding slides. Now the sermon for each Sunday will be unique in how many verse slides it has, how many bullet point slides it has, etc. So the slides you make week to week will look different from each other and they'll look different from what I'm going to make here. But we're going to cover examples of most of the types of slides you'll be creating, and hopefully these examples will be applicable to whatever given Sunday you have and the amount of slides the speaker has. So to edit a presentation, we need to find it in the right side of the program where the library is. You can see my program here does not have many presentations, and yours probably won't either, but we're just going to find the one that we just created. And again, this is helpful that you name it correctly so you can easily find it in the library. And once it's highlighted, you can click on the editor icon on the top menu bar. And when we click the editor button, we're presented with a screen that looks pretty familiar to PowerPoint. We have a column on the left that will have thumbnails of the slides we make. And the main window will show us whatever slide we select in the left hand column. A little differently than PowerPoint, on the right side of the editor window is where all our modifier 
properties are. So if we want to modify the text box, the font, the boldness, um, if we want to give a shape, an outline, or fill it in, all those properties are on the right hand side of the editor. And we'll come back to these modifier properties in later tutorials when we discuss how to create sermon slides. Well, that's the end of the video tutorial for how to set up a new presentation in ProPresenter for New Life Church slide volunteers. Thanks so much for watching. You can feel free to take a look at some of our other videos. The links to those tutorials are in the video description box below. As always, thanks so much for giving your time and talents to serve New Life Church.